choose from with our FNL Player of the Week as District Play opened in Oklahoma, but Union's Shaker Rising six touchdown performance against Owasso earned him our Week 4 FNL Player of the Week. First off, congratulations on the big win. I know that was a win that meant a lot to you this past week. Yes, sir. Yeah, it was a it was a lot to all of us. You know, last year semifinals. You know, we didn't forget about that. So I mean, it was a redemption time for us. We had to come out swinging. You know, coming off that loss and kind of started a, a different mindset in us and all the team. So we were ready to go. Had a great week of practice. So it was good. Five touchdowns passing, six touchdowns total. Did you anticipate having that much of an impact in that game? Uh, I never really anticipate having. Uh, I don't set standards. I just go out there and play. So. Uh, I'm glad it happened. You know, I felt really good out there, really comfortable. O-line did a great job protecting me that night, so uh, it was fun, super fun. Boy, and he puts it right in the bread basket. We've talked in our office a little bit about the the spiral you throw and just how, how pretty it looks. Usually I have guys kind of go through a play or two with me. I'm going to have you go through your throwing process. How, do, how did you learn to throw? Uh, it was a long process, you know. Uh, I've always kind of had a, a quick release. Uh, I've worked on it a lot, but that kind of came natural. But all the other stuff, all my mechanics, you know, I constantly worked on it for years and years. So it didn't come easy. I'll tell you that a lot of hard work, but yeah, just, just constantly working on it. As only a junior, you're starting to really see the recruitment process develop a little bit. How are you keeping focused what's going on the field while your recruitment's starting to heat up on the back end? Right, yeah, um, you know, I'm, I'm talking to coaches uh, every day, but it's, like I said, I tell them, you know, it's football season right now, so I'll worry about uh, everything else after the season. But uh, I'm focused on uh, one goal, you know, getting the gold ball at the end of the season. I got to focus on my team, so that's, uh, that's what I tell them. Bright future for that young man for sure. That is your 2 News Oklahoma Sports Report. We'll be right back.